teachings and life story about Tugu Ojinabuchi, which is my first teacher. Um, I was very, very fortunate because I just being born, there's a father and there's a teacher. I don't have to look for a teacher. Oh, I have a father, where's my teacher? Who's my teacher? Any connection with this, or maybe any connection with this guy, or maybe that guy, you know, how should I choose my teacher? You know? And many, many people, they told me, oh, you have to choose teacher, you know, I cannot write. <laughs> I don't have this worry, yeah? So I'm very fortunate. <laughs> I have men for teacher. First, my teacher is Drugo Ojinambachi, which, which is my father. And second, my important teacher is Salji Rinpoche. And third is His Eminence Taisi Rinpoche. And the fourth is Nujil Ken Rinpoche. And for me, Iku. Four of them. It's my main teacher. And it's a really benefit for me. And first, my teacher is Tuko Rinpoche. And he's a great teacher. Great enlightened master, and he's so kind. No? His voice is very soft. Yeah, Ade. He, he used to call me Ade. Yeah. When I was nine, around nine years old, I began to learn meditation from my father, and he was so kind, and he's giving this profound teaching. I am very fortunate to receive all these profound teachings and he gave very simple way. With example, with story. He's not using difficult terminology, you know. Try to use colloquial, you know, language terminology. And uh, And his teaching style is more kind of like what do we call pit instruction, pit instruction at the point, not not like study style, essence, divinations, characteristic of the phenomena, and how many of them, how many, and what is the right, and so you know, so many, not like that. It's more like practice teaching at the point and how to apply, how to practice. And mainly he teach nature of mind practice. Like union of Mahamuda and Dzogchen. Dzogchen is from Yingmapa, Mahamuda is from Kajupa. But of course Mahamuda, even in Yingmapa, Gelugpa, Sajapa and Dzogchen also even in Kajupa also. But mainly emphasize Kajupa is Mahamuda and main emphasis of the Nyingma Ba is Dzogchen, Mahati. And uh, when we teach, when he teach to the public and he teach, the style of his teaching is what we call four dharmas of the Gamboba. He teach like one by one. The first is um, to, to, to tame your mind to guide your mind to the Dharma, Lochyosotowa. And second, mind, your mind guide to the path, Shalamdotowa. And third is, the path is guide to the Lochyosotowa. Uh, third is, eliminate the illusion, delusion of the path. Last is, the illusion transform into wisdom. It's for four teachings. But men emphasize about practice and natural mind. And uh, his, for example, when I was when I when I was nine, ten, eleven, for three years I spent time with him, and I was in Najikomba. Now I'm here in Kathmandu. Behind, maybe left side of behind here, this side is Najikomba. And uh, this is very nice. Up on the mountain, not top of the mountain, like here. 
and you can see whole Kathmandu, Kathmandu Valley, and it's inside the trees. There's nunnery there, many nuns there. They also do practice prayers also, and I receive teaching from him. Normally we receive teaching after dinner. Everybody finished, then he kept teaching. And sometimes he kept teaching morning also, after breakfast. In between this, we have to practice also, meditate. And he will give me homework, me, and sometimes he teach group all up together. Sometimes personal student, me, and some other, you know, private. And we give homework, and we do homework. And after a few days later, we have to report and ask and question. So nice. And my father also spent a lot of time in the retreat, in the Tibet, center Tibet, and even Surabhu. And after he came to Nepal, Karmod, he do many retreats. And this retreat is very important. 